Hi, and welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Miss Linda. Today, we're going to read a book about a little mouse that struggles with honesty. It's called Kindness Club, Mouse Tells the Truth, written by Ella Law, illustrated by Laura Victoria Yeager. Meet the animals on Rainbow Island. Fox. Fox really likes a challenge. She's a lot of fun, but can get too excited. Her favorite place on Rainbow Island is the lighthouse. Badger. Badger has lived on Rainbow Island for a very long time. He has a boathouse on the harbor and organizes trips around the island on his boat. Goat. Goat is not afraid to say what he thinks. He likes to keep busy and gets up early every morning to do his exercises outdoors. Squirrel. Squirrel likes to cook vegetables from the fields and nuts and berries from the woods. He also bakes the best chocolate cake on Rainbow Island. Rabbit. Rabbit just loves playing with her friends, especially at the outdoor play area in the park. She thinks Rainbow Island is the best place in the world. Mouse. Mouse loves an adventure. He may be small, but he's very brave. His two favorite things are boats and picnics. Mole. Mole likes to have her say and often comes up with great ideas. She loves exploring Rainbow Island at night. Owl. Owl has just learned to fly and often gets badger if one of her friends is in trouble. She knows all the best beaches on the island. It was a beautiful sunny morning. Mouse was bursting with excitement as he was going on a boat trip with his friends. He'd been up extra early to plan a picnic with lots of tasty treats for fox and goat and delicious nutty snacks for squirrel and mole. As he waited for his friends, Mouse started to play with the oar. Suddenly, he had a wonderful idea. I'll show them all I'm not too small to row, he shouted. Mouse pressed the oar against the side of the boat and gave a huge push. Whoa, he laughed as the boat started to swing. Bang! Mouse felt his heart jump into his throat. Then he saw the small hole at the bottom of the boat. What am I going to do? He wailed. Mouse struggled to move the boat again. He wished he was stronger. He pushed and pushed, and finally he was able to press the oar against the harbor wall. The little boat swung around, and soon it was back in place. Suddenly, he heard voices. His friends were coming. I'm rowing today, called Fox. No, I am, cried Goat. Mouse quickly placed his picnic basket over the hole. His heart began to pound very loudly. Mouse chewed his paws as his friends piled into the boat. There were loud shrieks and giggles as they fell on top of one another. Finally, they were ready to go. It didn't take long for Fox to show off her rowing. Slow down, shouted Goat. You'll hit that rock. Fox had to swerve quickly. My feet are wet, cried Squirrel as water poured into the boat. Mouse felt sick with worry as he watched his picnic basket float by. Goat found the hole in the bottom of the boat. I told you not to go so fast, he warned Fox. Moments later, Squirrel squealed. The hole's getting bigger. Help, cried Rabbit 
as the water gushed in. Mouse said nothing. He had a very strange feeling in his tummy. Owl flew off to find help. Fox carefully steered the boat to a little bay. Just as they arrived, Badger appeared. Clever Owl had kindly gone to get him. Fox crashed our boat, Goat called to Badger. Fox looked very upset. It was an accident, said Squirrel kindly. And Fox got us here safely in the end. Our picnic is ruined and I'm all wet, cried Rabbit. You'll dry out quickly in the sun, Badger reassured them. Let's put our picnic blanket down, cried Goat. Everyone joined in and soon happy chatter rang out. No one seemed to notice that Mouse stayed very quiet. Mouse was feeling bad that Fox was blamed for wrecking the picnic. He didn't want Fox to be upset. Mouse felt sick. He was the only one who knew what had really happened, and now he had to tell the truth. Suddenly, Rabbit cried out, Let's play tag! As his friends played in the sun, Mouse stared sadly at the soggy sandwiches, the wet nuts, and the damp fruit. What's wrong, Mouse? Badger asked gently. Mouse suddenly burst into tears. Everyone crowded around. It's not Fox's fault. It's mine, sobbed Mouse. Then he told them all how the hole appeared when he banged the boat. Everyone was shocked to hear Mouse's story. Why didn't you tell us about the hole in the boat? asked Rabbit. I was afraid you'd all be mad at me, sobbed Mouse. Poor Mouse, said Squirrel, giving him a huge hug. Badger explained that Mouse hadn't meant to damage the boat. It was just an accident. And we need to be kind when accidents happen, Badger reminded them all. Definitely. I know what will make you feel better, Mouse, said Goat. Let's play hide and go seek. But first, Mouse had something to say to Fox. I never wanted you to get the blame, Fox. I'm sorry I upset you. That's okay, Mouse, said Fox kindly. I know you're not mean. Good job for saying sorry, Mouse, said Badger. And good job, Fox, for accepting the apology. It's not nice being blamed for something you didn't do. Can we play hide and go seek now? asked Goat. Of course, laughed Badger. By the time they finished playing, the sun had dried the picnic. As the hungry friends dug in, Badger had something important to say. Mouse was very brave to tell the truth. He made a mistake and didn't want Fox to be blamed. Congratulations, Mouse. You're now a member of the Rainbow Island Kindness Club. As they made their way home on Badger's boat, Mouse was feeling tired but happy. Now I'm in the Kindness Club. I'm going to be kind every day, he told Badger. Being kind can be hard sometimes, Mouse. So just do your best, said Badger. And in no time, Mouse was fast asleep. Have you ever been in a situation where you had to come clean after telling a lie? It can be hard and even scary sometimes to admit when you've done something wrong. But honesty is always the best policy. Come back to read more stories together anytime you'd like or find more books to read yourself at readbrightly.com. Bye.